The OECD says the global economy is set to remain resilient, with inflation continuing to moderate in its latest outlook for the global economy and G20 countries. South Korea's economy is expected to expand 2.5% this year. Her Kim bo -kyung tells us more. The OECD forecasts that the global economy will remain resilient, with inflation continuing to moderate. According to its latest interim economic outlook, Turning the Corner, released on Wednesday, the global economy is expected to grow by 3.2 percent both in 2024 and 2025. This year's projection is up by 0.1 percentage point from the previous forecast made this May. Inflation is projected to further ease, with consumer prices expected to rise 5.4 percent this year and 3.3 percent in 2025, which will contribute to real wage growth and an expansion in private consumption. As for a specific country and region, the U.S. is expected to grow by 2.6 percent this year and 1.6 percent in 2025, as the Fed recalibrates monetary policy to avoid a recession. In terms of the eurozone, real wage growth and loosened monetary policy are projected to support growth of 0.7 percent this year and 1.3 percent in 2025. Meanwhile, in China, government stimulus measures are expected to offset weakened demand and a slowdown in the real estate sector, with growth of 4.9 percent in 2024 and 4.5 percent in 2025. As for the South Korean economy, it is projected to grow steadily by 2.5 percent in 2024 and 2.2 percent next year, with exports aided by the ongoing strength in global semiconductor demand. Inflation is expected to be 2.4 percent in 2024 and 2 percent in 2025, aligning with forecasts from major domestic and international institutions. The OECD cited trade tensions due to geopolitical risks, growth deceleration from a cooling labor market, and excessive volatility in financial markets if inflation easing falls short of expectations as several downside risks to global economic growth. It advised central banks to keep lowering policy rates if inflation eases and labor market pressure is low. On the fiscal policy side, it stressed the need for decisive efforts to ensure debt sustainability in the medium term in preparation for future fiscal needs. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.